I'm Ben with the BTC Sessions, and this is your lightning session brought to you by CryptoCloaks.com, your one-stop shop for custom 3D printed Bitcoin merchandise. You can head to CryptoCloaks.com and use code BTC Sessions right now for 5% off. How does one maintain privacy when using Bitcoin? Here are a number of things you may want to consider. Buying Bitcoin on a centralized exchange that requires ID has the most amount of privacy trade-offs. If you'd like to avoid this, you can check out decentralized exchanges like BISC that allows users to trade peer-to-peer. -peer. Running a Bitcoin node is integral to privacy on Bitcoin in that you are no longer asking a trusted third party to verify your transactions for you and rather running a local copy of the Bitcoin blockchain, preventing your IP address from being leaked. If you do have Bitcoin that is associated with your identity in some way, you can begin to break those links by utilizing a method called CoinJoin that obfuscates who owns what. The Lightning Network is a layer atop Bitcoin that allows for instant and cheap transactions, but it also adds some privacy in that everything is onion routed and encrypted so that it's very difficult to tell who is paying whom. The Liquid Network is a side chain of Bitcoin, and while it comes with trade-offs, it does boast confidential transactions, which shield both the amount and the asset being transacted from outside viewers. Finally, state chains are a relatively new development on Bitcoin that allow users to transact entirely off-chain, trading the private keys that pertain to a certain amount of Bitcoin, leaving no trace that the Bitcoin has even changed hands. To dive deeper on any of the topics mentioned here, head over to my YouTube channel where you can find full video tutorials on every single application we've spoken about.